Here's something to think about on this Thanksgiving. This from our news partner, the Tribune newspaper up in Greenbush, Minnesota. Of the 36 residents at the Life Care Greenbush Manor, four of them have passed the milestone of being 100 years old. Marion Everson was born October 21st, 1919, to parents Mina and Oscar Ani, who lived on a farm in the fertile Minnesota area. She was united in marriage to Jeffrey Everson in 1940. In 1959, the couple moved to Greenbush, where Jeff owned and operated Jeff's Super Service. In 1952, the wide drive-in was built next to the business where uh, countless hours were spent by Marion. Along with uh, providing a huge selection of delicious foods, she became widely known for her famous Y Special Pizzas. The Eversons became the parents of three children, Joan Haugen, deceased, Victoria Brunsvold, and Paul Everson, as well as several grandchildren and great-grandchildren. The couple sold their business to their son, Paul, in 1980, Jeff passed away in 2009. Ruby Huckey, born January 1st, 1919. Ruby Wellen Huckey moved with her parents, Jalmer and Carolyn Whalen, to a farm in the rural Badger area when she was six years old. In 1938, she was united in marriage to Walter Huckey. The couple farmed mainly grain and some cattle. Two children were born to this union, Curtis uh, Mayone of Badger and Eleanor uh, Gerard uh, Frisch, San Antonio, Texas. Uh, Ruby is a grandmother of five children. Her son Curtis commented, Mom was always worried about everyone else's wel welfare. She, offered, she often offered to drive people where they needed to go. Ruth, uh, Ruby Huckey became a resident of the Life Care Greenbush Manor on, uh, in September of 2019. Jean Peterson, a former resident of Gatsky, Minnesota. Jean uh, was born in June 16, 1918, to parents of Arvid and Clara Peterson. Seven boys and four girls were in the family. Jean and his wife, Ann uh, uh, Waher, also a Life Care Greenbush resident, were married in February 79 years ago. They became the parents of six children. The couple's farm was located five miles east of Gat Gatsky and consisted of milk cows, beef cattle, sheep, chickens. Uh, crops raised were grass, seed, and oats, which was mostly grown for feed. To supplement the family's income during the winter months, Gene trapped fox, skunk, and occasionally a weasel. He and uh, Ann also picked cattails, which were transported by truck to Holt, Minnesota, where they were sold. They witnessed the uh, blizzard that hit Minnesota and North Dakota in March of 1941. Winds reached up to uh, 55 miles per hour, causing blinding snow and huge seven-foot uh, snowdrifts across the states. And finally, Elsie Lindbergh was born November 27, 1915, to parents Fred and Anna Gross at Rabbit Lake, Minnesota. Elsie and her sister Maria uh, Compline of Roseau and brother Johnny Gross on the Iron Range are the only remaining family members of six girls and five boys. Elsie's son, Larry uh, Keel, and his wife, uh, Harriet, reside in rural Roseau. She grew up on a farm that had uh, cattle, horses, sheep, pigs, chickens, turkeys, and geese. The gross home was a gathering spot for many uh, neighbors and friends. In the summers, the men played baseball. The women would visit and then uh, make lunch for everyone. Come winter, Elsie and her siblings were wrapped up in another favorite pastime, that of ice skating on the nearby creek down to the river, where after clearing off the ice, it was time to play hockey. Uh, Larry stated that his mother was a hard worker. She always uh, raised a huge garden, cleaned homes for a lot of people, and at one time she and her brother Ed plucked turkeys at the Roseau Creamery. He added that when uh, Elsie baked, she would often bake for two days straight. Elsie and Kenny Link Lindbergh were united in marriage in 1949. He passed away in 1977. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for PageOnePublications.com.